drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world now there are four different views now there are four different views how to judge as a sap you are a consultant which view you need to take firstly it is your choice you are good in html then use html view you are good in xml use xml view you are use any view you can achieve it but there is a way actually so when you do any mistake suppose in this json view you do it did a mistake you saved it you saved it and you try to refresh the page so when you click nothing is appearing so when we go here then it will ask see rendering of undefined so it means this error means you have done a wrong in any of the library so we have used button library it can't be rendered that is what it means so you have to wait whenever you make any change or error in first view you can only see in a runtime scenario runtime only you can see but when it comes to xml xml view if you want to change any thing okay you haven't included this mvc but you'll say this something h e har colon c it gives an error so what it gives an error the prefix her of the element is not bound so this type of errors can be handled in html here only you'll come to know this is not declared or you can't use this this type of so this is a benefit of xml view so now there are some advantages of each view and disadvantages also so we'll be having a clear picture now now we know how four views will work so we'll have a comparison chart and we'll see so so whatever i have explained you inside the view and view this is similar thing in this example you can try by yourself we have included ocean and in this ocean we have a different views my first xml header so xml view is been introduced in xml navigation button so you can make use of this example i had a method saying hello and so on xml view and how we have created a xml view we have done it so i had a panel with a button inside to us so this is what so you can try by yourself so if you don't understand then this there is a code inside this you can refer and we'll see the controller part later so it's a js view this is a content of js view we have seen xml view looks like this js view look like this it always starts with an id this is an id and here is a controller name and then the create control always the create control has the content in this xml view we always starts with core and core need to be included the sap ui dot core core view xml is dot core we can use this also xml is dot sap dot ui comments controller name we give and panel you say this and the next is json view so json view we have discussed it always starts with flower braces and ends with flower braces inside this it will be having a key pair values key will be towards your left and the right will be a values this is how we create json view next is so here is the html view this is how we're going to write html view so it always starts with template and h1 title div it always will be in divisions so div has a class we can add include any custom css class and data sap ui type so like this you give the type mention the id and then data text text is nothing but a property and the press is nothing but an event so there are multiple views to creating an it's another example how to create a manipulative views inside the json view the json view this is a xml view this is one more example you can try by yourself this is simple like how what is trying to do is he has created a view for each type js xml and json and then creating a controller for each view like this and creating a each view of a single button with a press event button so there is a event button which can be instantiate button event callback method 
for everything. So the solution for this is this. So you have created a JS view and this controller and a create content and then the next XML view inside the JSON. In then the JS view is where you already take a variable in this variable you are placing all the xml code see this is how we write it in xml the same thing core view xml namespace you have given namespace mvc you have given xml as you have given and comments you have given so controller name and then html if you want to use html namespace then you have taken a button the id and you have closed it sap ui controllers you have given this and XML press button, whatever you press, it will come with this alert box. So this is what you will be writing in the view controller. The controller will be declaring this because you have the event XML as button press. So it has to be matched. And the next, a JSON. In this JSON, you can take an JSON variable. In the variable, you can take a JSON data, whatever you write, and you can directly create this. This is in a js view json we have take we have created in html view. view xml view we have integrated so we have called in j html view we have called xml view here what is trying to do is in js view he is calling json view and xml inside js so like this we can do you have to know how to use this that's it how to write the code this is a code which is available we can make use of this and you can try this example and you're placing all views here straight up xml json view and js view you're instantiating and you are creating a layout and you're placing it in a content now we have four views now we have js view xml view json view and html view now we'll see what are features available in json js xml and html now the features first Control from standard and custom libraries. Control from standard and custom libraries are nothing but we have APIs. SAP have given APIs, certain set of APIs. So that can be used in any of the views. Yes, they can be. So just we have to do what is, we have to just call that particular like this in this XML view. Just image, button, we can straight away call. Right. This means it's SAP UI dot commons dot image. So that is what you meant. Yes, it is achievable in NM. Next, self content registration of custom control. Now, this means whenever we have a custom control library in JS view, we can straight away write because it is in JSON. So what we have can do is we can directly have a custom control in JS view. Self content registration. You don't have to register anything here in XML view. We have to register explicitly. We have to call that control. JSON also we explicitly we have to call. XML also explicitly we have to call. In JSON, you don't have to call explicitly. You can directly straight away use that without declaration. That is what it means. So when we talk about custom control, that time you'll be coming to know more about it. As of now, custom library location. You don't have to include it in JS. You have in XML and everything, you can include it. And the properties of types, string, int boolean and float everything is available in our each view so no need to worry about it and how to check the properties of the views is which type of what it is is like this so where i have cleared it okay suppose you have taken where where a equal to one okay So A holds a value one value. So now we have to see which type it is. Okay, type of. How to see type of A. So type of A is a number now. Now what I'm going to do is A, I'll hold a string inside this. So how to declare a string in JavaScript is like this. Double quotes, then hello, have placed. So type of A will give you a string now a holds a now what is this means this means float so when we say this float the type of float will be a number only so how when it will come to a float is so when we convert parse float a then it is one so when type of 
a so this is what when a type of a it will have always number so if it is whether it is int or float it will come as a number now we'll see it for the array so array is always like this one comma two so when we say type of a it's an object so how the array will come we'll see now one comma two this calls an exception so a of one have given some value one so now the type of a will give an object so array is an object so whenever we talk about array it's an object a i'm declaring as an array okay how to declare it as a capital a array yeah then it says array so a will be having an when you say type of a it holds an object so arrays and objects are like this so when you say a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 it exceptions okay so in this we'll give like this f first second third okay this is an object so first it's an json object so array and when you say type of a it will be an object so if it is an array or json it is an object if it is an int or float it will come as a number you can check okay. this is how we create data types so we'll move on to this view the property of string boolean and everything and we haven't checked a boolean so we'll check a boolean now so a equal to true true is a boolean so we'll see type of a is a boolean okay a equal to false then it is a false and type of a is a boolean okay this is how we check the types in javascript so it can be in xml and json and html too so properties of other types are nothing but objects see string you got int boolean float we have got as a number and others are nothing but objects so it can be only in js view you can do in html view we can't do in js everything is possible but in an xml view only int booleans are possible but not about others other objects now aggregations so when we talk about aggregations and associations that are in controllers so when we see any of the control api any of the control api so let us take an application header so in this we don't have any aggregations in associations so we'll check some other control where it has some yeah in layout we'll have in layout we'll have little aggregations and associations we'll take m dot list or something we can pick any control so it will have a certain yeah so aggregations are nothing but columns in this list so association we don't have so these columns are one to many okay so we'll go there and we'll check so aggregations are one to one or one to many can be and associations are one to one or one to any so it is possible in all views okay. then single event listener registration so it has a limited view you can have a event registration in any way and it will be calling to your controller so that is possible in all views and multiple event scope so multiple events only is only possible in js view not in xml json and html so so multiple events like uh, if they are one not only press there are so many other print touch everything so that time it won't be applicable in uh, it's not possible in xml json etc so simple data binding so data binding is possible in all views all views you can bind your data beta means which comes from the odata model or xml or json model so we can have that so next customizing data mining so formatters data types factor approaches it's only in js view that's the reason we use formatter.js that will be discussed in formatters class so that will be only js not in xml json and html and next embedded html 
that is only without using HTML control. You can directly embed HTML thing that is only in XML. You can do it, not in other ways. Embedded HTML. So what is embedded HTML is? So when we call embedded SRC like this. So this is only possible in XML view. So we directly write EMBD like that. We will be writing like this, right? Button tags, button like this. It is not possible in any other view. You have to give like SAP UI dot code dot commons or SAP dot UI dot commons dot button straight away. You have to give. This is called embedded view. So that is only possible in XML. Dynamical control creations. So dynamically, if you want to create any control, that is only possible in JS. Why? Because it has some feature like you can directly call a custom control straight away from a JSON. So that is why, because it accepts objects. So all, so whatever we create a control, dynamic control, it will be an object only. So that's the reason we have, will take an instance of a class that is an object. So it is possible in only this JS. That's the reason we have. And the JS will listen to a multiple events. That's the reason it is possible. And the code completion. Okay, whenever you create any code, okay, so the completion will be done in in JS and in Eclipse whenever you write. So whenever you do this, yes, with limitations this one see suppose in js view we have taken a js view so when we code completion code completion is nothing but we'll take a js view yeah we'll take a js view now i'm going to, to create a new sap dot ui dot commons see like this this is only possible in JS view. So we have events, etc. So this is what it is meant. Okay. So code completion, it's possible. So yes, with limitations, only few. And templating. So templating is man creating a template. So that is only possible is in JS view, not in other views. Next one is validations. So it is not possible in this, 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 but it is only possible in this. Uh, we have seen that in uh, XML. So when you go to XML, when you type here something, the validations. So it will be, it will be validated. So when we go here, yeah, here, which is not bounded. So like this, some validations is done in XML without going into the proper runtime scenario. So like this, the validations are done. So this is what all about HTML views. So views comparison. In the next session, we'll be discussing on controllers and then we'll move on to the data models. Thank you for watching Etiopedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.